Today we're going to be talking about the Escalante version 2 made by Ultra. I've got about 130 miles in it, so I'm going to kind of give you my review and recommendation on whether or not you should pick up uh, this particular version. Spoiler alert, I have a love-hate relationship with this shoe, but it's mostly love nowadays. But before we get into that, I need to go for a run. Welcome to day six. Okay, so let's talk about the Escalante 2. And, uh, you know, it's kind of hard for me to give this review because it really depends on whether or not you've had the first version of the Escalante, which is the shoe right here. So my love-hate relationship with this shoe comes from this standpoint. I wanted to try a zero-drop shoe a couple of years ago because I just kept reading and hearing that, uh, that you know, part of the reason why runners get injured so much is because they're always running on a sh on sh with shoes that have like a huge lift in the back, which is true. Almost every shoe has a, a drop, you know, uh, even the most minimal of drops is usually about five, but most have anywhere from eight to 12 millimeter drop. That means from the heel to the toe, your foot kind of sits like this. You don't realize it, and you've probably never, you know, many people have never even heard of that, but that is the case. Ultras is completely flat, zero drop. And so I wanted to test out a shoe, and I tested out the Escalante, and it was amazing right out of the box. I mean, it was like having a sock with marshmallows on the bottom of it. It was incredible, uh, flexible. I mean, right out of the box, one of the most comfortable shoes, maybe the most comfortable shoe I ever put on, directly out of the box. And so when I got the Escalante 2, I was expecting that same out-of-box feeling, but it's not what I got. Um, while it's still very, very soft and the and the you know the upper's very, very soft and, and, and very comfortable, um, compared to the original, it was kind of like having it was like they took the Escalante and then they shoved a two by four in there or, or a piece of plywood in there. You know, it was just stiff and and very you know it just wasn't the same. Um, but after about a hundred miles, it's loosened up and it's very comfortable and it's now in my rotation. I'm running in this three or four times a week. It's my primary ro road shoe at this point. Um, so then. Let's just get down to the to brass tacks. Um, do I recommend this shoe? The answer is, if you're looking for a zero drop shoe to kind of get a couple of days in where you're stretching out your calves and kind of strengthening some of those other muscles and your feet and tendons and stuff that aren't getting hit uh, through normal running shoe, then right now I would recommend that you pick up the Escalante 2 because it's currently on clearance. I mean, right now on... Uh, runner running warehouse, it's $88. I wouldn't recommend it for the original price, um, I believe, which was $130, but for $88, bucks, I think it's worth a try. Um, I think if you've never ran in Zero Drop and you've never ran in Ultras, you're, you're going to love it right out of the gate. Uh, for those who have experienced the first Escalante, you're probably going to have some reservations about it, at least at first. It is one of those shoes that you just have to break in. Just a few quick stats. Uh, it weighs about 9 ounces, zero drop. Um, again, big wide toe box. The whole point of the Ultra lineup is it's supposed to be like you're running 
naturally. You know, it's it's wide, so your foot's completely spreading out and everything. And I think it's great to have a zero. I think it's great to have a pair of Escalantes in the lineup that you're running in once or twice a week. Um, for me, it's three or four times a week. And so, um, again, I like it, but it 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 definitely took a while. Um, so. There you have it. That's that's kind of my reviews. It, it's it is comfortable, but you do have to break it in. If you've never had an ultra, you're gonna probably love it right out of the gate. If you've ran in the very first version, you're gonna have to be like me, and you're gonna have to put a hundred miles in it before you really, really uh, start to enjoy it the way you enjoyed the original. Well, I hope you've I hope you uh, enjoy these vlogs. If you do, hit the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.